guys, how you doing? Uh, I haven't done one of these wiring in my room videos in a while, so got some new stuff, figured I'd show it to you, so let's get started. The first major change is this Bluetooth receiver that I bought that just connects. It's got a USB cable for charging it and an audio out, and that's pretty much it, and just one button on it for turning it on and off. And so I've got that running into my audio selector box and then I can connect anything with Bluetooth on it up to the stereo. I've got my just regular eye touch not plugged in at all and then plays right through the stereo. I've also ordered some more adapters off of the internet and extenders and I've now got the bathroom speakers working. So I've got this little foot pedal switch down here on the floor next to my desk and you just click it once and it turns on the power for the speakers that I installed in the bathroom. The music's also still working in Cameron's room. I've also purchased a little Bluetooth dongle from my laptop so I can stream whatever audio is playing out of my computer from pretty much anywhere in the house. The next thing that I got is actually downstairs. I found these remote controlled outlets online that comes with this little handy dandy remote and with just one button you can turn on the lights for the left side of the living room and with another button turn on the lights for the piano and the third button controls the Christmas lights over the sink cool these controlled outlets just plug into the top of the regular outlet and they even come with a built-in switch on them so that in case you lose the remote you can still turn on and off your lights Another thing I got was this 2 terabyte Western Digital external hard drive. This drive is so big I'll be able to back up my whole DVD library on it. Final thing I've got are these. That's right, two 60 watt Sony dual 4 inch driver single 2 inch tweeter stereo speakers. They're connected to this old Sony amp, but it still works perfectly. Hook it up to the PS3 and we have my most realistic driving simulator so far. So that's pretty much it. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe. See you next time.